Hey, what's up? My name is Kate, and today I am back with another video. In this video, it's a haul slash try on slash review of my current favorite underwear. As a trans masculine person, finding underwear that makes me feel good in my body, well, if I'm sometimes wanting to pack, things along that line, is super important. A couple years back, I, you know, was trying to find underwear that made me feel more confident in my gender identity, plus that's actually comfortable. And of course, there's like a bunch of mainstream ones, but I wanted to find something that was, like I said, more soft and comfortable. I was looking online and I found this brand called David Archie. Tried it out and ever since I got those, it's been my favorite pair of underwear. Let me show you. <laughs> Not the best at like rolling up my underwear or folding it right after it comes out of the dryer. So this is why it's a little wrinkly, but I've had these pairs of underwear for many, many a years. It has a little like ball pouch and everything. Sometimes I packed with it. It's great. When I checked my email a couple months back and I saw the name of that company pop up, I was like, that sounds familiar. I look down and I see, oh, that's the same brand that I'm wearing. That's my freaking favorite, favorite brand. So I was like, heck yeah, like let, let's do this. So they reached out being like, hey, do you wanna review some of these underwear for just like an honest review? And I was like, let's do it. He sent me a pack of trunks and briefs to review. So today I am showing what it looks like to wear them like a try on and give you my honest thoughts and review on both these styles of underwear. After the review, if you realize that these underwear are something that you would like to get for yourself or any of the products, you can go ahead and check out the link below. And if you use it, it helps support me and the channel. And you can also use my code as well. Uh, this part, is, this one's not gonna be an actual review, but you know, these are the ones that I've had for years. And just to show off, like I've washed these so many times, they've been through many, many crazy nights, hikes, whatever, and like they're still very much intact, no like strings being frayed or anything. So if that doesn't say it doesn't stand the quality of time, like this is a huge example. For both of these styles of underwear, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to pack with and to not be wearing a packer with them. Let's start out with the bamboo fiber briefs. Same thing with the last underwear. I, since I don't fold them right away, you can get a little wrinkly, but that's, Totally fine. It doesn't matter once it's on my body. Let's start out with talking about the bamboo fiber briefs. The brief set that I got came in a four pack. It came in this color, like a dark navy blue, and then more of a light charcoal gray. I'm gonna lower down the camera a little bit so you can see what it looks like to pack with these as I'm explaining my thoughts on them. Today I'm gonna to be packing with one of Axlum's soft regular packers and I will link that as well. But here we go. This is what the underwear looks like to, like as I'm wearing them with the packer. I really love how silky smooth and soft it is. The waistband I've noticed doesn't ever like really roll up or get awkward, which is super useful and makes it a lot less uncomfortable. Something that I've noticed about these specific briefs is there is a very large pouch. So I think that if I'm wearing like a larger packer, like this is a more like medium sized packer. So it ends up being fine uh, compared to some of the other larger ones that I've reviewed in the past. Um, so yeah, it works great if I'm wearing a packer, but when I'm not wearing a packer, the bulge spot is just like so big that it does make me a little bit I guess uncomfortable um, and it kind of gives me at least like a tiny bit dysphoria. It, it's still like super comfortable and if I am not going out and like trying to look cute or if I'm just like by myself, it doesn't really matter as much. But if I'm out in public, I am a lot more likely to pack with these because of the size of the pouch. So these are the gray ones and these are the navy blue ones. Now it's time to talk about the trunks. These trunks came in three colors. Uh, this is more of the like black color that it has. 
you can see that there's a little opening. So if you want to use an STP, I think that these are a great option. It makes it pretty easy. A nice gray color. The three pack that I got did come with three colors, but as you can see, there's a different settings. I did just move and I haven't been able to find those yet, but I'll at least show you what it looks like with packing without, um, for both of those colors of underwear. But at least with this, this is a very similar color and this is, these are like the briefs. So these trunks are made out of micromodal material, which makes it super light and very, very soft. And I would have to say like even silkier than the bamboo pairs of the briefs. For the trunks and the briefs, I both got them in medium. I think the thickness of the waistband is perfect because it does help it really like stay in place without digging into my sides because if I have underwear that digs into my sides, specifically around my hips, ugh, that dysphoria, like no thank you. Before I show you what it looks like to actually wear these, I wanna show you the pouch a little bit more. So it has a slight, oh, instead of, you know, with a lot of pairs of underwear, the slit is to the side, which can make it a little scary for your STP to fall out or packer to fall out. With this style, there is the like slit at the top and then I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Right here, there isn't like a full on like pouch, like a packing pouch for it to stay in place. But the way that this sets up, like it's set up, I feel like it does help things stay a lot more secure. And it still so is like, I think it's a great option if you're wanting to find underwear that keeps your packer more in place um, or specifically like an STP in place while being able to still use the STP without really any trouble. Now, let me show you what it looks like to wear these with and without a packer. I have tried some other underwear in the past that has been tight around my thighs because I I am a very thick thigh man. But these are very nice, very, you know, stretchy and doesn't roll up, which makes things feel much nicer. So even with these thick thighs, it still works fantastic. And this is with the soft packer from Axlum. This is without. Even though the pouches for the briefs and the trunks are made very similarly, I feel like the way that it's built, it's a little bit smaller almost than the briefs. And so like, I feel much more comfortable just wearing these without a packer per se. I also like the cute brand name on the underwear too. It's a little bit harder to see because of the lighting, but this is what it looks like to pack with, with the black pairs. And this is without. Whether it's the old underwear that I bought many years ago and it has lasted the test of time and wear and tear, or these other ones from the same company, now that I've tried like a couple different of their styles, I think this is overall my favorite underwear company. If you realize that this is something that you would like, of course, you can go ahead and check that out in the description. And if you liked today's video, make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe below for more content like this in the future. Have a great day. Until next time. Peace.